Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have created an estimate and the customer has accepted it, you can then use the estimate to invoice the customer. You can either send them an invoice for the entire amount or send them several invoices for smaller portions of the total estimated amount. This is called progress invoicing. Progress invoicing, which is sometimes called progress billing or partial billing, lets you invoice for jobs you work on and complete in phases. When using progress invoicing, start by creating an estimate for the total job. As you complete each phase within the job, you transfer the related items from the original estimate to an invoice. You can specify which items to include in each invoice and change the estimated amounts or percentages of each item if needed. When you use estimates to create progress invoices, you can run reports to help you compare estimated costs and revenue to actual costs and revenue. To create an invoice from an estimate, open the Create Invoices window by selecting Customers, Create Invoices from the menu bar. Select the job for which you have created an estimate from the Customer Job drop-down. QuickBooks will automatically display the Available Estimates window which shows all of the available estimates for the selected job. Select the estimate from which you want to create the invoice. Then click the OK button to continue. In the Create Progress Invoice based on Estimate window that appears, select the Option button for the invoicing option you want to use for the invoice. You can select either Create Invoice for the entire estimate 100%, Create Invoice for a percentage of the entire estimate, or Create Invoice for selected items or for different percentages of each item. If you select the first option, click the OK button to transfer all the items from the estimate to the invoice. If you select the second option, enter the percentage of the total estimate to place into the current invoice by typing the percentage to bill into the percent of estimate field. Then click the OK button to transfer the selected percentage of all line item amounts within the estimate to the invoice window. If you select the third option, click the OK button to open the Specify Invoice Amounts for Items on Estimate window. In this window you will see all the items from the estimate shown in a list. You can enter the amounts or percentages of each item to transfer to the invoice by entering the desired percentages, rates, and or quantities into the columns shown. Ensure that the Show Quantity and Rate and Show Percentage checkboxes are checked to enable the display of those columns if desired. After you have entered the amounts for the items to transfer to the invoice, click the OK button. Note that all of the items will transfer to the invoice, but you can set zero amount line items to not print if desired by changing the settings within the Jobs and Estimates category in the Preferences dialog box of QuickBooks. At that point, you will see the items you want to bill to the customer displayed within the Create Invoices window. You can double check and change any information needed within the invoice. After you have done that, click either the Save and Close or Save and New buttons to finish. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.